Welcome to Bedtime Story Creepypasta. This story posted by Alpaca Soup. I want my mom, I shouted. I knew it wouldn't do me any good. It's the same thing. I wake up, it's the dead of night. I cry out and want my mom, just to hear her voice, to have her soothe me, run her fingers through my hair, tell me everything will be alright. I don't remember how I lost her, I just know I was taken in the night, separated from her, ripped from my bed in the dead of night by the creatures that now torment me. Instead I get this, no help, no relief. I am always scared. Every time I cry out, the creatures come. It's not many, they have humanoid-like shapes to them, but long sharp claws coated in poison. It's always the same. I cry out. They try and take me. I fight back. They scratch me. I don't know what's in the poison, but I always fall asleep then wake up feeling weaker than before. They're taking my strength. I know they are. They keep me in the bed they made, with the railings that stop me from leaving. But the other day, I got out of the bed. Not that it did much good. I just wanted to find my mom, to see her and hear her voice. But they caught me. I fought with everything I had, in the maze of corridors they call a home, the darkness descending outside. I fought and fought, but out came the claws, and I slipped into unconsciousness. It's always the same. One day, the sun was out. I was sitting up. I haven't eaten. I don't trust the food. I know I'm getting weaker, but if I give in and show weakness, that will be the end for me. They think I don't know, but I know, and I will not go down without a fight. I hear voices just outside my room. I stop and listen. Please, what is happening to him? He seems to be getting worse each day. He is refusing to eat. He barely sleeps. We have to sedate him because he is getting more and more aggressive. He tried to abscond yesterday. At 86, he won't last much longer if he doesn't start eating and drinking. Is there anything that we can do to help? You need to look for a care home. The hospital can only do so much for him at this point and his dementia is only getting worse. Dementia, what are these lies? And 86, I know I'm not a little boy anymore, but I certainly am not 86. I hear a gentle crying. A young woman with a tear-streaked face walks in. How are you today, Dad? She asks me softly. I don't answer. I turn away. I hear the crying pick up again. As I turn my head, I see my reflection. A withered, tired-looking face stares back. It looks like me, but it can't be... That's what the poison is doing. That's why I always feel so tired and defeated. It's aging me. This is impossible. No, this has to be a trick. A two-way mirror or something. Or some clever lighting. That's it. It has to be. There is no way I'm 86. They think I'll fall for this. I don't have a daughter. All I want is my mom. I see through the mask. Her black eyes. The fake smell of perfume. Trying to lure me into a sense of security make me believe I am old and helpless. If I give in and succumb to their tricks, I'll be killed. They'll use their claws to shred me, and this trap they send in, it won't work. If you like this video, please do comment, like, and subscribe for more. Thanks for hearing. See you in the next one.